Welcome back to educator.com. Today we're going to talk about function M files and how you can have a function with input and output in the MATLAB. We have already seen that MATLAB has a number of built in or compiled functions such as sign, sqrt, sum. We can verify that uh, they are built in by attempting to type them. For example, if you use type sin. It will give you that sin is a built-in function. Uh, on the other hand, MATLAB also has some functions in the form of function M files. For example, F0 or Y, with which we've already seen how to use them. We can see what's in them with type. If you use type and F0, it will give you whatever is in that function and you can go and see what are the lines in that M file. MATLAB enables you to create your own function M files as well. A function M file is a, it's a, it's similar to a script file. So if you want to make one, you just push new script. And as a script, it has a .m extension. However, a function m file differs from a script file in that a function m file communicates with the MATLAB workspace only through a specially designed input and output argument. Uh, we're gonna we're gonna talk about uh, m files and examine examine them later. But other than m files, there are short mathematical functions. Uh, that may be written as one line inline objects. So we're going to talk about inline objects first, and then we're going to talk about function M files. If, for example, let's, uh, let's learn these subjects with examples. So imagine you have a harmonic oscillator. If two coupled harmonic oscillators, for example, two masses connected with a spring on a very smooth table, are considered the system, the output of the system uh, as a function of time could be given by something like h of t is equal to sine, for example, 7t plus sine of 5t. So this is not the actual functionality of a uh, combined system you should uh, solve the equations but for the sake of arguments we get this example and see how we can do with inline function so imagine you want to use this function to plot the motion let's go to MATLAB in this way what you can do is you can define H let's clear the screen first you can define H as inline and then symbolic arguments like sine of 7t plus sine of uh, 5t. Okay, so now this edge or inline function is defined. Now let's see if you can plot it from 0 to 10 pi. in a steps of uh, pi over 50. Okay, now we defined x as well. So we defined our input argument as well. And how you use your inline function function is something like plot x and h of h of x and uh, that's it. As you see, MATLAB acts as h is a function and then put the input argument x into it and plot it, plots it for you. Note that the variable t in inline definition of h is an input argument. It is essentially a dummy variable and serves only to provide input to the function from outside world. As you saw, we used x in later stages. You can use any variable name here. It doesn't have to be the same as the one used when you invoke or use the function. You can also create functions of more than one argument within line. 
for example, let's define f as inline symbolic and x squared plus y squared. And then you need to define two variables. First one, x and second one y. In this way MATLAB knows when you, you, you want to use the function which one of these variables is the first one and which one is the second one. So let's just put uh, 2 before y squared so we see the difference. Okay, And you can use it as simple as f of 1 and 2 and just to see x and y differs 2 and 1 the answer is different so that was how we use an inline function next let's talk about function m5 uh, and let's have uh, have the example of Newton's method which we examined before Newton's method may be used to solve a general equation such as f of x is equal to zero. So basically, Newton's method finds the zeros of a function. And the way it does it is x becomes x minus fx over f prime x or df dx, which is the first derivative of fx. This process continues until successive approximations to x are close enough. Suppose that we want to find zeros of or roots of this function x3 plus x minus 3. Basically we want to equate this function to 0 and find the roots. We have to be able to differentiate fx and we know the differentiation which is 3 x x squared plus 1. So let's define some function in MATLAB and use them in our M5. First function that we're going to define is our y f of x and y is equal to x3 plus x and minus 3 and so what this function does is take an argument x and does some stuff on it and gives us the output or y and let's save this one as f dot m let's have a new script and for the derivation and define it as y df x and it is y equal to 3 multiplies by x squared plus 1 and save this one as df x now let's write the uh, Newton's method that we want to have first is the steps and at the beginning we have zero steps then let's have x equals to input initial guess so basically this method takes an initial guess does some iteration on that based on the relation that i wrote before and finds the answer based on the relative errors and let's say for this case we define this relative error to be less than 1 to the power of 10 minus 8 and my relative is 1 and let's use a while loop for this function so at the beginning the relative error we call it we, we give it the value of one because we want it we want to make sure that it's much larger than uh, the relative error that we are looking for so while my rel is larger than re or relative error and also we want to have 
a finite amount of uh, steps. So maybe the function that we are doing or we are trying to find the results uh, doesn't have an answer. And this while loop will be infinite. So we want to make sure that we have certain amount of steps. Let's say number of steps less than 20. X old is equal to X. And then X is equal to X minus F of X over DF X. These are the F of X and DF of X are the functions that we defined already. And with each steps, let's add our counter. One steps and then we want to display each step what we have at each step x and f of x and my rel is absolute value of x minus x alt over x. So this is the ratio of error. And, and if my row is uh, smaller or equal to re display zero font at and then display the x which we got out of this while loop that we had else display zero not found basically with 20 steps we couldn't find the zero and end. Now let's try to examine these steps or this uh, these lines in MATLAB command line. Have the initial guess of let's say 15. As you see, MATLAB does some iterations and it bring it down, down, and finally find the zero at 1.2134. That's how we use a MATLAB function. Uh, thanks for being with us with other session on MATLAB brought to you by educator.com.